Hey guys, it's MJ the Student Actuary. This is CT5 Chapter 6.5. We're going to be talking about the recursive formula. And the recursive formula basically it's the accumulated funds payable under an accumulated with profit contract. So we're looking at the recursive formula when bonuses are involved. And remember, my last video was about bonuses. Check that out if you need help in that area. So when the bonus interest rate is not guaranteed, what we're going to do is it's just your last bonus plus the premium and then add the bonus on afterwards. When a bonus interest rate is guaranteed, okay, then we're going to have another separate uh, little bracket. This is 1 plus G and that's the guaranteed bonus. And now the whole thing with bonuses and stuff, it, it comes down to this big comparison between accumulated with profits and a unitized with profits. And I'm just going to talk very generally about the differences. We do go into unit um, funds much later on in the course. But sure, let's talk about the bonus interest rate. In the accumulating with profits, the bonus interest rate reflects the distribution of profits net of expenses. However, when you come to the utilized uh, with profits, the bonus interest rate reflects growth of the underlying assets and still needs to consider charges. And then your contractual benefits, this is an equal amount of accumulated fund plus discretionary terminal bonus, common for policies to pay a guaranteed minimum sum assured on death. So again, this is just very much theory. It's um, not, not a lot of calculations. You can read through this. Um, maybe a little bit, this is maybe a little bit more um, about the methodology is how to calculate unit prices under a unit task with profits. And there's two ways. The one way is to, you know, your unit price allows for guaranteed bonuses and interest increases only. So when you receive a bonus or a discretionary bonus, it is in the form of additional units. Or two, the unit price allows for guarantees and discretionary bonus increases. Now, I'm not so sure why they put this information in Chapter 6. It should come in much later around Chapter 12 when we actually do start talking about unit funds. But this, I guess, is just introducing you to the whole uh, thing. It is a little bit confusing because it is out of place, but yeah, the main thing to focus on here are the recursive formulas. Thanks, guys, and yeah, check me out for Chapter 7, which I'm going to start making right now. Cheers.